Hi. Uh, today I'll, I will show the uh, complete setup uh, how to deploy the application to the OpenShift server. Mm, uh, the first notification is Java application. You can deploy it to whatever server that supports Java you want, uh, but it must support Java. Uh, I, I will uh, upload the application to OpenShift. Uh, OpenShift is uh, free hosting service. Well, uh, they have perks that you can buy, and for our purposes, it's enough. The free account is enough, so sign up for the free account. Um, so first, we need to get the free stream notification application. So download it. I already have it, as you can see. Uh, unzip it, and uh, what we will get is uh, yeah, let's clean this up what you will get you will have those two folder and, and file and those two are needed to run uh, run the application on the server so let's continue after you sign up and register you will be redirected to and verify the account you will be redirected to this screen um, but before we continue with the application creation, uh, let's go to the uh, tutorial page. Uh, so they have nice getting started section. Go there and click install client tools. And the client tools are required to connect to the server, so we need to install them. So click Windows. And here they have three uh, applications that they require us to install. They have nice setup, step-by-step -step instruction how to how to do that. And they have nice video uh, explaining everything and the uh, last, last step after you uh, install the everything, uh, every tool is, is run the RHC setup which will generate the token and the uh, public and pr uh, public SSH key and upload it to the server. So uh, after you do that, mm, you will have uh, the SSH key in uh, C users your username dot SSH, and you will have the uh, this ID RSA key, and that we'll use later. So. Uh, so install those tools and uh, we'll continue with the app creation. So cr uh, hit create your first application in OpenShift. Welcome page. Type do it yourself. Search. Hit that link. Okay. And uh, first time you will see this, you will uh, be required to type this uh, subdomain type whatever you want is if it not if it's not uh, taken it will allow you to use it so this is domain this is subdomain use whatever name you want after you do that there is not much you can do here just create the application and this step might take a moment and uh, let's wait All right. Mm. While we wait uh, uh, to connect to the server, I'm using FileZilla FTP client. It supports SSH, so uh, get it. And uh, to generate the private key, I'm I'm using PuttyGen. So just download the exe or install the whole package doesn't matter we'll use it only once later on after the app is created okay uh, here there is the information how to uh, how to clone the repository to your drive so let's let's do that uh, whenever uh, you want to uh, uh, clone the this repository open command line window in that path and copy and paste the git command uh, you will install git in the uh, client tools steps okay it's done and here we we have the 
it's the whole application we just created so uh, what we'll do uh, we'll erase the do it yourself default content we'll just erase it and we'll go to dot open shift action hooks and we will do that the same in our uh, fetched free stream notification package we'll go to hooks and we'll replace uh, those uh, hooks start and stop hooks on the server with ours those files are, are used basically to start and stop uh, the java application on the server All right and uh, after we done that we need to uh, right click uh, git at all files right click git commit tool write whatever message you want my first doesn't matter here you will see the changes in the files you can see what I changed commit okay open inside the folder open the command line window type git push origin and hit enter and this will uh, connect to to open shift and upload our changes right and while this is ongoing we'll go to uh, the, the, the page we'll, we left off and continue with the process application page view okay let's add uh, mongo database to the application right let's add and check on the pro progress okay so we can close it now all right um, this might take uh, some time so let's let's continue uh, next step uh, we'll generate the private key that we'll use in filezilla open pathogen uh, load existing key show all files RSA open ok uh, save private key yes and uh, name it save it and we no longer need pathogen that's it ok here uh, the database was crea uh, created or added to the application uh, you may want to save this information it, it is required to connect uh, to the database remotely if you want to do that in the future you can do that save this information and in the future i will make a video uh, describing how to connect to openshift database remotely all right let's continue uh, we have the key generated uh, i already have filezilla so let's open it let's go to settings let's go to sftp add key and go to user your username dot ssh and the key we generated with putty okay okay i already have it hit okay uh, site manager new site name it change the protocol to sftp and go back to uh, open shift to uh, remote access uh, click that link it will show you the sshk copy it go back to filezilla paste it and we actually need the uh, last part of the link so just from remove the or cut the uh, everything beside the uh, URL of our application let's cut it and the rest will go to to the user field this SSH key will go here remove the add remove the SSH okay 
and the password doesn't matter because it will use the private key we generated all right so let's let's connect yes all right okay uh, here we are in root directory of our OpenShift uh, application and let's go to do it yourself folder uh, here uh, if you want to uh, in future see logs you can create the directory logs and uh, do it yourself folder will also contain our uh, free stream notification jar so let's past it here and this will take a moment so let's uh, use that time and, and do the next step because we uh, we forcefully stopped right now the application by uploading uh, this file uh, we what we need to do and th this information that you will use in future when you will want to update the application to newest version you will have new jar file you will upload it and then you will go to root folder of your application mongodb data folder then you will find the mongo log and you need to remove that otherwise the application won't start next time you you run it so let's remove that and each time you upload new jar you need to remove the log before you restart the application on the server okay let's go back to root and let's check if our hooks are uploaded so let's go to uproot um, repo dot open shift action hooks and let's copy start and see if, if it's uploaded correctly okay let's open it All right and yes this is the correct one so all right and uh, i think it's also done uploading so let's go back to openshift let's restart the application okay it's restarted let's see if it works and voila it works all right so as i mentioned uh, yesterday uh, this is first time uh, launch screen and you need to register uh, your application with twitch you will go uh, to this link it will if you log in already logged into Twitch it will uh, show you this screen if not it will ask you to to uh, log into Twitch and then will show you this screen and as I said yesterday you need to copy the the address of your application you, you need to uh, pass it here as redirection URL you need to create name and hit register after you register it will generate client id which uh, you will uh, past here you will pass here the client id generated by uh, by twitch and you will hit save and and after you will hit save it will generate uh, all necessary that database fields and you will be able to use the free stream notification application and you will hit uh, connect with twitch and dashboard will open <coughs> sorry so 
just like I showed you yesterday you will see this you will no, no longer see the save button you, you need to do, the, do this only once so make sure you do it right otherwise you need to connect to database and remove the database and after you save the client ID you hit the connect with Twitch and you, you can use the app so a uh, little bit complicated but you need to do it only once after that you you will only use the FileZilla client to upload the the jar to, to the do-it-yourself folder so you will you will just just re replace the existing jar with new one you will pass it here replace it go to mongodb remove the log and mongodb data remove the log the log go to open sheet restart the application and the application will be updated and i think it's pretty pretty much simple so Okay, so thank you for watching and see you next time.